Hello there everyone, welcome back. We finally got through the Lost and Abandoned mission, and just by a skin of our teeth it really felt like, because there were a couple of close calls in that engagement, but on the plus side we got our Reaper there to have access to, and it's all ready to go for the next mission. Although, most of my other troops are already tired or wounded, so they're going to be out of the fight for a little bit there, at least from what I'm understanding, because this tired mechanic greatly reduces the will for my units, so that makes them really susceptible to panicking, and of course the Sectoid's mind control. And shut up, Bradford. We've never had the you're, to you're not, we're not interested in this time around, so let's get started. Oh, what's this? This I wasn't expecting at all. I recognize, the in recognize it from the intro a little bit. Well, there's a cinematic I definitely enjoyed. We've just made contact with a new faction and what's this? Resistance known as the Reapers. They're an elusive bunch, but this is their headquarters. We can scan at this location now to start benefiting from our newfound cooperation. So this is the commander. Dragonova spoke highly of you and the rest of your team. Trust me, that does not happen often. You are all welcome here. I will admit I had some concerns with this alliance of yours, but from what I hear, this skirmisher, Mox, was captured protecting one of my own. Reapers have long memories, Commander. We will honor our end of the deal. Vault out. Well, this is one of the new mechanics here. Apparently we have access to the Reapers' headquarters. We have 
an operation to try and rescue Mox, which is something I really am interested in doing. Ooh, and what's this? So Chosen has control of that region. Huh, so if we're ever over there, we may have a chance of encountering the assassin, which apparently is not where I need to go for the black site. Oops, that wasn't what I want to click. Although I do want to find Mox while I'm waiting for... Oh, do I just gain intel there? I don't think I care about intel so much. Well, I don't care about the supply, maybe? I think I have enough supply for what I need, so we'll gather intel. Actually, that's infinite amount. Let's just go grab the supplies then. Because that's no different than the regular headquarters now that I think of it, so it's only like four intel a day about, so... Probably not worth it, so let's grab the 50 or so this uh, supply has while we're waiting. For my research to finish to get access to East Africa. We have made a number of there we are. That's what I'm talking about. Resistance communication is done. We can get resistance comms. We can start getting my infrastructure and connection network all set up. That'll be good for my income at least. And then I won't have to worry about any extra supply. In theory. Ooh. Ooh. This is one of the inspirations, isn't it? If we are to proceed down this path, so improves the rifles, but or I fear we will lose our opportunity to return to it in the future. Increases the rifle barrels. That sounds really promising considering I have a Reaper available. Is, it, hmm, is that really worth going after though? Is that seriously worth going after? What else? What are my other options? I don't think I care about the corpse just yet, because I want to focus on the black site and game Fox. Magnet weapons is probably my big go-to that I want, especially with it 20 days away. But that improved vector rifle will be useful for sectoids, because I was regretting a little bit getting the blood trail skill after getting my uh, Reaper upgraded, promote it there, so this will help make it that it's a guaranteed kill in combination with either uh, a grenade or some 3 point damage follow up with my reaper at least but since I only have one I do question it some I do question it a little bit but we'll get that out of the way and focus on the magnetic weapons oh I'm hitting the wrong button now resistance comms done huh We've collected sufficient intel to make contacts. We'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. So I want to make contact here, so I'm trying to figure out at what risk am I of being attacked by assassin there, because I thought it was just the whole region, but this is out in the middle of nowhere. So does that mean I'm going to get attacked from both regions, maybe, in including Western? Ooh, hold that thought. Tactical school's done. This is going to be important for me. Because this is supposed to serve as two roles for me. One, it allows me to train up my recruits so I don't need them in my missions as much. Make them into squies without having to commit them to a mission. So I'm going to start with Nyx, get you as my third sharpshooter. And what about my tactics? I don't think I can, can get squad size. No, I need a sergeant for that. Which is what, one more promotion still? Which may be tricky until I get a mission. Still have to wait till 10 days till they're fully up and about, but let's see. Sergeant, yeah, that's the next rank, so... I want to make it a priority to get my, uh... My, what is it, squads? I forget what rank they are now. But get them in the battle, my Grandier and Evan, so that way they can take advantage. Hopefully get their promotion, but... Resistant rings important for finding Vox. And what are my other options? I don't even have the ink supply right now, which is kind of fine. I kind of want to save to build it up for extra squad size, so we'll try out to resist this ring, but and train centers for making use of bonds and all that, as well as the XCOM points I've been gaining, ability points, and resistance comms, pretty important for me, but I got two slots available for making contact, so let's see, I'm going to sign my, oh no, I didn't want to sign my engineer there. Commander, now that but the let's get more supplies going. I thought you might want an area where you can meet to organize and plan future operations together. 
Yeah, that's... Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team ah. before I can start clearing They keep talking to me there. It's distracting. I don't like it one bit. But let's continue on with the objective. Make contact with East Africa, hopefully before the end of the month. And if possible, make contact with another region by the end of the month. Nothing oh. on the local comms. Advance them quietly. Gonna have to hold that thought. Guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification Massive system. signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our citizens... You know this is trouble, hmm? Our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet... Among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple radar contacts on approach to Haven At least Alpha. this cinematic's appropriate to where I am. And even as I speak to you today, you've got incoming on approach. Our signal's breaking up. Territories to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you. Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again. We will ensure your continued safety. Yep, trouble's here. Now for the resistance defense. With your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace and prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. So... We pretty much know what to expect here, but from what I understand, they've changed the dynamic of the resistance missions, or was it? The outpost defense. Apparently, they actually fight back, so this is kind of exciting. Oh, wait. So, what does the... Oh, controls the region, so it's all of Africa. Okay, that makes a little more sense. I was wondering why he was out in the middle of nowhere, what that signified. It's not adjacent to him, to the assassins, uh, the entire region. Okay, I got thrown off a little bit. Considering its placement, you figure it would be in the middle of Africa, if nothing else. But, this provides a good opportunity for my Reaper. I'm assuming that the traits stay the same, right? I don't expect them to change on me, so I think the Reaper's kind of necessary. And I can't possibly change a weapon, right? Nope. Not in the slice. With Claymore. Yep, stuck with that. Now, I think I want to try bring my A-team a little bit. Maybe one recruit there to help speed up the squaddy re Well, actually, with my train center, I shouldn't need to do that now. I can go with all squaddies. But I will need my ranger to help with that. The close combat potential will be nice. And let's make the utility items available. And I don't have credits for anything extra, do I? Probably not. Doesn't want to show me credits here, so... I was hoping to be... Oh, the build items. That's what I was looking for. What kind of credits do I have? Just 28. I have enough for a smoke grenade, so... I think I'll stick with the frags, because they'll be useful if I do encounter the Chosen, the Assassin. Get some guaranteed damage to help make up for the fact that I can't risk taking low hit shots at her. Not to mention this is going to change the dynamic quite a bit. So, we got our Assault, we have our Reaper, so now what I'm going to try and do is start looking at the compatibility for bonding. Soldier bonds. Tr Commander. Try and choose would be good there. So Grandier, let's see, Jake is my specialist, so I'll happily take a specialist. And now, what about the other one? What about you? Who could you bond with here to be useful? You can bond with Evan and Lucia, but both of them are fatigued, so I gotta be careful of that. I could take Bernard. They're all tired. Oh, Lucia's just three days ex of fatigue, so... Eh, I'm not sure exactly how to work. I'll take a recruit. 
I got the specialist, I got the reaper, I have assault, so I should be okay. In theory. Huh, I saw I made utility items available. What happened there? There, that's more like it. So you take the med kit. We're gonna need a flashbang. So assault's gonna grab that. Or was. That's weird. Why didn't it just permanently keep them available, I wonder. So, and you can't even get grenades, but then again you have a claymore, so I guess that's a, that's fair enough. So, I think this is the best we're going to do. And we only have two forms of explosives, actually, so... I really am regretting not having a grenadier, actually. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Hopefully, we don't have to worry too much about the Chosen, but with... The experience I had facing her, at least, it's... I think I'm a little more prepared now, because despite how awkward that was having to deal with her dazing my entire squad, at least it gave me intel, information on what to expect. And I know for a fact she has, like, a flashbang ability as well, so... I have a good idea of her entire complement of abilities and tricks, so... It's just figuring out if I can reveal her when she's invisible in some way. That's the real question. If I can somehow reveal her if she's invisible, that would help me a ton. But it's probably not worth trying unless there's no one else to attack. But the Reaper's gonna help a ton for this because she's still concealed for this. Resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. So we're gonna make use of her. Okay, they're up on the high ground, so that I was not prepared for. Although it's not like I had a lot of options anyway, I still have to climb, so. Where can my Reaper go? I want to use her stealth as being able to reveal my opponents. So there's a squad there, that's good to know. And since I'm on the low ground, I should be okay not being re spotted, potentially. Let's just poke forward a little bit. And get close to this climb, this post. So that way I can climb up next turn. That way we can defend that squad and have the Reaper watch my backs a little bit. Because these guys are supposed to be able to fight as well, rather than being cowards and just hide all day. So if there's anything hitting, they'll see it for me. They don't hit very hard, apparently, with a 2 damage rifle, but it tells me where that sectoid is. And of course, in full cover, it's not going to do much. Why didn't you go into cover, though? That seems like a perfectly good waste. Now, Reaper's always good to go first, I want to say. But, I don't really gain anything going over here, do I? Because of this dang wall. Moving out. And that cook would be perfect going up there as an assault with the sectoid. Especially if he walks towards me. If he walks towards me, I could probably slash him. I just gotta be careful of that damn fire now that I think of it. Yeah, that is not promising. It looked good, until there was actual fire in the way. I can take a shot though, or I can keep him still. I like the idea of Overwatch better, until I can get these guys in a better spot. Although there's not much cover in general, so... Hold that thought, we'll just stick to the full cover. So they're revealed. I'm going to have to be careful because that sectoid could mind control and with the flashbang could be a bit of a nuisance. And I do have blood trail on the reaper. So I could do damage there and kill that sectoid easily enough. I think I'm more concerned about the trooper though. You can do good damage, I just would like a follow-up shot of some kind. Well, actually, 
I can frag? Ugh. I only have like one frag. That's a big concern. Now, where can I go? I can flank the sector easily enough, but trooper, I'm vulnerable to the trooper hitting me. I want to know a good spot that I can go to. Ooh, Claymore. Claymore's an option. It's a potential option, I just don't know what to expect from it. How does it work? Throw an environmental explosive. Reaper is not revealed when shooting the Claymore or when it's triggered. Hmm. I like that better. I don't take the chance of getting revealed. I like that so much better. And then it opens up for my shotgun to kill. So it, this is on the Claymore, right? Yep, perf guaranteed hit. Five damage, cover's gone. I did blow my Claymore though, but I'll take it. I'd rather have the Reaper focus on the Chosen regardless. An 84% chance, I like it. And I have full cover, so I'm okay there. And let's see, A Pro calls only on my units, it looks like. So I can overwatch and punish that trooper. Try to shoot that sectoid, but I think I'll keep him honest. I'm already in full cover. And they haven't even shot anything yet. Well, that works. I would have really liked my uh, specialist to have shot him, though, because then. Well, Sectoid could have been shot at still. Oh, don't you worry, I will. So, you were not revealed at all, which is what I like. You can continue scout for me. Pick up the loser bonus. And, let's see... And keep an eye out for any hostiles. I go where I'm needed. That's the plan. We'll keep you hidden and keep you fit, the dangerous. And there's nothing over there, so I think we're clear. I am clear to go for the slash, but oh, I can't even reach him. I cannot re climb up anything unless I want to go here. Not a good idea. Oh, that's why. Maybe my specialist block in the way, so. And there's no real cover I can go to, so that sectoid is probably still going to live. But if the sectoid's is ignoring me, like he says... Nah, eh, I was going to say I could probably just go in the open and get a flank shot, but I'm not getting it. I might get a bonus here for Awkward Angle. I don't like being out the open, though. I really don't like being out in the open. And, let's see, good angle bonus. So that's all I'm getting, 57. Damn, you're still alive. I was not. I was kind of hoping not. That wouldn't be the case. And I don't think you moving helps at all with my sword slash, does it? And I don't really want to use a sword. Uh, I may have just condemned my rookie, didn't I? We'll see what happens. I'm trusting that what he says is accurate, and they're just gonna ignore me. And I know flashbang's actually useless here, so. I was kind of thinking maybe throwing it up there. But no. We'll see if this backfires or not. Yep, shooting the civilians, that stinks. Okay, Sectoy is dead, though. The resistance team is in the clear. Making progress. Oh, he's moving. F wow. Oh, he's just retreating, that's all. I thought he was going to the next squad. Wow, nice. These guys are doing a good job dealing with the troopers, at least. Maybe not so much with the sectoids. Now, I just gotta be careful pushing forward. I don't want to accidentally reveal a pod when I'm spread out. I do need to hurry though. Okay. Get there as quickly as I can, but try and be careful.
so safe to say I can go up there. You're going to sprint as far forward as you can, and Elena, you're going to get yourself in a good position. You shouldn't have to reload just yet, but so you can scout out the situation for me. I will reposition. That's what I'll have you do, and even the high ground will be good. This is a nice vantage point for me once I see where Advent's hiding. Just a stun lancer. Ooh, he got a good hit too. But he's out in the open. He's out in the open. That's really tempting if I can get a shot off. This is only the second pod though. And like I said, with him out in the open, these resistance members are actually having a good time shooting him down. Not quite getting the kill. But that softs him up so nicely. I wonder if that counts towards my blood trail. I take that back. I don't they don't even need me over there. They just took out an entire pod by himself, I think. I like this setup a lot better, but you know that also means it's gonna be a lot harder. I am trusting you. A lot more difficult. Now let's see. Elena, you're gonna go up on the high ground over there, because we know the left side is kind of clear. And we'll get in position to help these guys out. With full cover to boot, I like it. On the move. And now my specialist, I don't know where I want you to go. Just stay over here by the trees, I guess. Not much else you can do. Oh, there's the faceless. Faceless revealed itself. You know it's gonna suck, it's gonna attack me, isn't it? Oh, there's a pot over on the right. It's probably going to attack my... Oh boy, now we have two... We have the faceless and a pod now, so... I don't like this. Oh, mine, our pod. So yeah, I was right about it being harder. I was definitely right about it being more difficult. But they don't quite see me at least. At least Elena. Only concern is again is what's that faceless gonna do? Cause that cleave is going to kill multiple civilians. At least these guys are getting the vulnerable stun lancer, so I don't have to worry as much about him. Can they get the three point kill though? That would be nice. This could miss though. I don't know what their accuracy is like. Damn it! That just means I have to infest and kill him probably. Well, I don't know. He hasn't shot. Okay, he's going after a trooper. So. Don't really like the split fire. I'd rather the stun lancer dies. Oh, but they're still attacking. Wow, there's a lot of them. Yeah, now if only you had that for the last attack on him. Oh, and it didn't attack at all. Perfect. I have to commit to killing this damn thing quickly then. So, I think we risk revealing Elena, because I still have Shadow. I get as close as I can to this damn thing. I would like full cover, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Actually, do I have anyone else that can shoot? Besides Elena, I want someone else to hit her, hit that faceless first. Oh, you can't even see the faceless, so I'm going to have to focus a lot of my effort on the killing that. And yeah, you took up the full cover slot, so I could still shoot it, but it's not flanked. Oh, it's it can't be flanked anyway, because it's not even using cover. Okay, so, as much as I would like it close to it... Oh, I have a protocol. I shouldn't be worried. Moving. I'll just get as close as I can for maybe a good chance at critical hit. Do a lot of crap ton of damage to this thing. And then Elena can hopefully finish him off. He's definitely still standing. Okay, Elena can kill it. No questions asked. Although we got a flank over there that sounds... Well, it's not a flank. So, Elena, you kill it. Maybe stay hit then as a bonus. Yeah, that was a good... Ah, uh, damn it, I got revealed, so... Not a huge loss. But, let's see. What are my options here? Because they're going to focus on civilians, I think, so Overwatch probably is the better choice. 
Besides for the fact maybe I can kill this trooper, I'll go for him. They don't have to reload. Nope, 66 was a mids. A miss, rather. It was a dud. And you haven't moved at all, so you can aid pro call my ranger. Hmm. Yeah, I'll aid pro call the ranger. I think they might go after... If they're going to go after any of my units, it'll probably be the ranger. Although I have to choose between Elena and the ranger at that point. And then you can still overwatch in case they push forward. Good five point damage hit, I like it. He's still gonna s slash or shoot, isn't he? Yeah, civilian's still dying. But this is looking promising. Although if only I had hit that trooper, that would have been one less civilian death though. And we're still wondering where that Chosen's hiding. Okay, they can clean up though, they have that potential. Perfect. And two troopers, they can kill. Especially the one that's already wounded. And if by chance they don't kill the one on the right, then I have two... I still have two soldiers already positioned on high ground to just shoot them to death, so I'm okay there. Come on, shoot. Nah, uh, they're not doing so good once they're in cover, unfortunately. It seems they're only effective when they're not in cover. But, like I said before, I can clean up. Actually, let me reload first if I'm planning on shooting. Take advantage of that extra point, because once I shoot, I can't do anything else. So, rookie, shoot. I don't know how you shot the bullet sideways, but I applaud you. It just was not a kill, so that's... I'm a little bit irritated by that. 69, favorite number of everyone. So, we're going to take it. Perfect. Wow, so... No chosen this time, so that's good. We lost a handful of civilians, but that is a nice twist to that mission. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Let's take a mission photo for this occasion. And of course, Elena's taking the s is stealing the show a little bit. And I didn't even use your sword at the moment there with my ranger. I don't even remember his name. Normally, I'm probably going to remember them for their call signs, if nothing else, once they get to the sergeant rank. Not so much their default names, because I really just chose them because of bonding potential. Nope, I cut him out, which is probably a good thing, but there's a nice little uh, debriefing type of monologue or dialogue that they have there. Okay, so we got a bunch of cohesion from this squad here. Unfortunately, my Reaper is exhausted a little bit, so... I'm gonna have to be mindful of that. And I really do like combat protocol for the potential of killing those weakened units. Medical protocol, of course, what does this do? Can heal remotely. I thought you could already heal remotely. Oh, it's an extra charge, that's why, basically. So I potentially don't need a med kit, but if I do have a med kit, I can heal twice. I like combat protocol a lot, and I'll probably do that for some of my specialists. It's really good for those opportunities when I don't want to waste a gunshot and have a guaranteed kill as a bonus. And we got ourselves a grand extra grenadier. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And what was the loot we got? Oh, the scope. So that's going to help a lot for my snipers, sharpshooters. And we got the faceless for access to the mimic beacon, so I'll have to you seriously consider that. Hmm, and more more supply every month for defending that. Work. But we're low on supplies, aren't we? What did I buy? Oh, I'm still at 28, so I didn't buy a smoke grenade, so it's just reminding me of that fact. No worries, if I can get access to this region up top. Oh, and recruits. Hmm. Recruits never hurt, but I think the supply convoy once well making contact right now is my top priority in all honesty. I want to make contacts for the end of the month because we have about 10 days for that. And effector rifles improved, although I still question this quite a bit since I only have one unit who benefits from it. But I really do dislike the fact that 
the Reapers, the Skirmishers have weapons that only do 3 damage at minimum, so... That opens up a lot of windows for kills. Hmm. So experimental weapons. I don't think I care about that. I don't think I want to go for that there. I want to try for mag weapons at some point. Start... Do I start making progress towards that now? I don't even know what experimental weapons does unless that's the old experimental weapons from the armory or the forge. I forget what it's called. So I don't know what that gives me so I'm just going to work my way to tier 2. So at least a little bit. Sectoid gives me my shield. Faceless is the mimic beacon. I forget what the Avent officer gives me besides the fact it's a story related uh, research. And resistance radio, I don't care about that until I'm ready to fortify and enhance my economy, so... Mag weapons it is. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. Oh, and I'm going to the wrong button again. So, let's finish connecting the regions and see if I have time for a third. Okay, Nix is retrained, so perfect. Damn it, assassin, stop bothering me. I'm busy training troops, so. So, Jeremy, I'm going to train you next. You're going to be a ranger. And then we'll have to figure out what my other two are going to be. And then I might seriously consider getting some recruits. We'll see if it's still available, though. But having access to the black site's a big deal. Oh. Hmm, what is this? to gather intel on their latest actions and have a rough idea of how close each is to reaching their ultimate goal of locating the Avenger. Huh, interesting. This is a nice little dynamic. So the assassin is busy trying to reduce my income there currently, I'm gonna assume. This is knowledge here, and that's what they're currently playing, so I have to interrupt that somehow. Ooh, and the dark events are already starting, wow. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. Okay, so Avent units have a chance to enter Overwatch. I think I can deal with that and sign up defenses, although I don't have to make a choice till about five weeks from now, so I will have to keep that on in mind there for when I choose to engage. Wow, we're unlocking everything now. With these groups increases, our capabilities will grow in kind. So additional ores become available as influences gain. So and they will be able to complete more ores per month. So oh. For some additional work if you've got any orders for us, Commander. So heavy equipment excavation speed increased by fifty percent. So that sounds essential considering I lost out on my second engineer. So that technically cuts my. Uh, gives me a second free engineer a little bit. And what's this? Popular support. Supply collected from supply drops. Okay, 10%. I like that. So, oh, do I choose one? I'm not sure. Oh, wildcard orders. Oh, raise influence. Oh, I, I get to choose one. So these are like cards or traits. Okay. So they add like a deck element to it a little bit maybe, and then I can choose what I want to use. So I need more influence if I want to get access to Reapers, which I think I have to go to their headquarters and gain that intel, as well as do missions for them, I think. Okay, this is fun. We'll need to send our own soldiers out to work with the resistance factions to complete these covert. What's next now? Deploying the soldiers, okay. But this will help us build influence with the resistance while generating material support. Okay, so I choose a soldier to go. So is this every month or this is just unlocked for me? Ooh. Templars, I would like to find find the Templar, but I want to rescue Mox. I re not to mention the fact that the assassin is benefiting from that. Hunt the chosen assassin. So let's see. Oh, and there's rewards for the soldiers apparently too. Oh, I need sergeant rank, so I can't even hunt the chosen yet. 
plus one health for a soldier, or just income, which... Or locate... Oh. I can also look for Templars. Ooh, I like... I like this, but let's try and find mocks. Only thing is, who would be best? It shows the rewards, so I probably want a frontliner for the extra health. And I do have a Grenadier, but all my tired people can't go either, so I kind of want my highest ranked, I think. It doesn't want to tell me success chance or anything, so I'm left to wonder. Oh. So, I don't... Hmm. I thought I could do two different missions, but apparently not. So, required soldier. I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Can I put two soldiers in there? If so, let's see. Oh. They don't benefit from the plus one health, I guess. Okay, I can put two soldiers in there, so I might as well put my... Well, I was planning on taking a ranger, I guess, for my second, so he'll get the extra health. And do I... We'll put a regular specialist in there, or actually... We'll put my corporal in there for now. So we got a squatty, we got corporal. And I'll confirm the action. And we'll, let's see, reward is Praetal Mox. Ooh, I, that I like a lot, but it doesn't give me a chance or anything, so this could backfire if there's a chance for failure. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Commander, the Resistance has a hidden cache of resources... Unfortunately, though, my main plan that means we'll have to, fly to get contact with this region before the end of the month has been foiled, so... I might... Now, the quick begs the question, do I gain... Let me finish gaining contact. Then we'll get the supplies, especially now that I'm excavating a bunch of spots, so... What's my power look like? I haven't got the money just yet to get the build anything, so... With my new order that enhances my excavation, let's continue on making that my priority. That's gonna help a ton. Like I said, it'll help make up for my lack of a second engineer. It's only 13 days, so it's not truly 50%, I guess, because I'm pretty certain it was 20 days before. Nonetheless, I'll take it. Local resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. Okay, wh what is that reference to besides the supply drop? Okay, we got contact with the region. All these Cinemax are basically the same, so... This will just be the first time, and then I'll skip all the other ones. But it's straightforward. We bring ourselves a nice little communications relay for them. And we get access to potential missions in this region. It opens access to the black site, which I need to prepare for. And we have contacts with new regions now. So, so we have access to Europe and Asia now. And we'll grab the supply, I guess, too. 170 supply. And then we'll see what we go from there. Once we grab the supply, actually, I'll probably just stop and get prepared for the next big task. So, we have squads being trained up. We have excavation well underway. And I kind of want to just uh, gain more influence with the Reapers at this point, actually. But I'm going to stop it here. Thank you all for watching. The first month is done. And I think with that said... I should actually save my first checkpoint because what I plan on doing is since I'm not in Iron Man mode and I don't plan on save scumming all that much, I'd rather just save every month in case all hell breaks loose just so I don't have to go all the way back to the beginning there because I'd rather not save scum if I can help it. And at least this way we won't have to redo missions that really screwed me over and I can start at a point where I'm still in decent shape. But I want to try to avoid safe scumming if at all possible. Thank you all for watching.